Well, where have we seen this before? <laughs> Hopefully on this one we don't flood out, guys. <laughs> Robert and Jacob and I are down here in the swamp, probably our favorite place on earth, fixing to head out. Uh, we've got a three-night adventure. We are first going to Floyd's Island, which is about a nine-mile paddle. Uh, from there to Big Water onto a chicky. Uh, to camp there and then from Big Water over to Mixon's Hammock and then back. So we've got three nights, four days, hopefully find a critter or two, take a few pictures. We are chomping at the bit. I hope we don't get flooded this trip. Uh, greatly looking forward to it. And guys, I can't stress enough having people around you that you can call friends and brothers that you can do this kind of stuff with and, 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 and have people that, that could come, enjoy, you know, all that's been created for us and laugh and grow. And Rob and I said, we just going to keep doing this as long as the Lord puts breath in our body. Uh, we're going to do this as much as possible and, and make good memories. And then when we're old farts and can't do this anymore, we'll go back and watch videos and relive our good time. So y'all stay tuned. We'll see. We'll see what we can find. Well, we, <laughs> we, I, all of us, kind of got off into the uh, problem that most fishermen have that when the fish get biting we kind of forget about the important stuff which is getting to the first camp so we spent far too much time on billies this is the hottest billies fished for us in a long time everybody caught fish and it was really tough to uh stop that so this is the path heading to minnie's day use uh, shelter and then beyond minnie's uh, I think another four miles or so is going to be Floyd. So we still have a long way to go, uh, but we're heading this way. We're, we're, uh, we're, we enjoyed the day. We just want to make sure we make camp before it turns dark. So y'all come on along with us. As you can see, there's a pretty good current coming from this way. So don't underestimate that when you're on your way to Floyd's. I mean, you will be fighting the current going out. Uh, to there and to big water but if you come back as you're coming back you'll be able to ride with it but just calculate this in and the amount of effort that it takes to get out there this is minnie's lake day use shelter um now we've camped on this in the past that's because the the shelter we were heading to uh, was destroyed i think in a fire or storm or something um, so we've camped here in the past. I've, I'll put up a picture if I can find those of, of what we did. And there's a considerable water difference from now to what it was when we were here in the past. But uh, this is a good place to paddle out to, stop for a little bit, have lunch, and then make your way back down to Billy's. You'll be able to ride the current the whole way out. But uh, we still have uh, four or five miles to go. So we're just going to take a little bit of a break here right now, and, and then we'll load back up. The last couple of miles, it got really, really tight. It was just a gorgeous little old place. And I, you know, I'd take my rods down. It looked like I was paddling through a Lord of the Rings set. But uh, this is look like it's gonna be an interesting turn. I can't wait to see what Floyd's looks like. Whew, that was a workout. The end of the trail going to Floyd's. I don't see the cabin yet, but uh, I am happy to see the end of this the the turn off up here even though we're all in the current that was that was not bad that was fun paddle this was like paddling down two miles of a ditch down the side of the road in current there was still current in here oh i hear the sand hills awesome beautiful though had a hoot owl sitting there next to me uh no not enough light for a good photo had a doe i could touched her with the paddle she stood there looked at me trying to figure out what i was so very cool paddle i'm gonna see if i can get some firewood before the boys get here uh we got tents to set up and we are losing light so y'all stay tuned as you can see we did not make it very far off the water last night the cabin is up around that corner i don't know maybe another 100 yards or so and we determined that we were not going to go any further than right here. We were whipped. So we set up camp. Rob's got him and Jacob set up over there. I'm set up right here on flat, first flat spot we could find. Most important thing in the morning, Rob's got his coffee going. He's using a percolator. 
I got my Kelly kettle roaring right now and uh, I've got some pretty good instant coffee. So that's the most important part of the morning. So. Well, I didn't do good as far as video in the cabin, but I got some still shots of it, but you guys got to understand. We got here last night, we were whipped. All we wanted to do was set up camp, get some grub, and I crashed earlier than I probably did since I was a baby. <laughs> but it sure felt good to lay down. Um, we're heading out back now to the confluence. I did find that fork that I talked about. It looked a little sketchy to us, and I don't want to fight going over pads, going through that thing. So the this has current all the way to the, to the fork. So we're gonna just ride the current, turn right, go to big water. And uh, we've got another eight miles today and six of it's going to be into the current, so we know we got to we got to save ourselves for out there. Um, this is that skinny part that I was telling y'all about. It's like paddling down the side of a ditch on the side of a highway. So I'm not going to fish this part, uh, but I did see some really good deer sign and 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 uh, you know a couple other critters. So I'm gonna try to see if I can sneak out of here and get a couple pictures. So I'm going blank, but uh, we got we got. We, we uh we got a good day ahead of us and looking forward to it hopefully have a clear sky tonight on top of big water i just passed mile marker 24 and uh from 25 to 24 it took me 26 minutes so i'm paddling a little bit better than two mile an hour into the current with this aircraft carrier loaded with all this gear so not too bad i just kind of wanted to figure out what it's going to take me to get we're figuring that the uh big water platform is somewhere around mile 20 somewhere <laughs> maybe 19 i don't know it's, it's out that way but i figured i'd stop and get me some grub and there was a few fish hitting in this area so i figured i'd give it a try i just can't explain the the sheer beauty of this place, the absolute quiet. It almost feels like talking in it is a, uh, almost like an offense, you know? But I mean, I, I wanna share with you guys what I get to see, what I get to do. This place changes from through the seasons, you know, in October, the, the cypress starts to light up. The tick seed sunflowers are so yellow that you have to color correct your photos or they look fake you know uh, right now most of the needles have dropped and there's only a few tick seeds that are still blooming but it's still an incredibly gorgeous place then you roll around in april again and all this is greening up and growing and blooming the gators are bellowing the birds are in their breeding plumage i mean there's there's no bad time to come to the swamp other than probably june and that's because of the yellow flies y'all gotta come here Whew. that's a sight for sore shoulders right there uh, that's the big water shelter this is my first time here in looking at this area on the satellite I knew this was a good looking spot to fish so my plan was just to leave and come straight here drop off some of my gear so I could fish this kind of a little bit lighter maybe do a little bit more photography and uh, chase some critters down so anyway we're here I'm gonna stop by and drop off some gear and I'll show you back when we get to camp. Uh-oh. I don't think that's a... Oh, that's a good fish. Wow. <laughs> that is a good fish. And Jacob got doubles. Come on, Robert. Oh, oh here he come off. That's all right. I didn't want to unhook him anyway. I got him on camera, though. All right, we're tied off through the night. This is the big water shelter. Rob's got his tent set up. Jacob's gonna run that hammock. He's got some grub going on right there. I'll be getting on mine shortly. I set up mine on this end. We're gonna try to run without the rain shelters tonight. Oh, hold on, I got a, I got a fish bite. All right, this is what interrupted supper a little while ago is a black bullhead. And to me, I, I don't think there's a finer eating, y'all can say, I don't think there's a finer eating catfish that I've ever had. I don't believe so. And either. I mean, if you wanted a mess of fine eating, fine eating fish, if you put a few of them back, I'm telling you, they are fit to eat. But 
we are not paddling with one more ounce. <laughs> so I ain't cleaning nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right now i know what was out there so all right <laughs> oh my goodness Which, oh man the lost what, rod. Look at this. this rod was lost probably three hours ago four hours ago we've actually fished for it rob it may have the fish still on i know it. i've got something on it i'm about to put my but jacob's rod got pulled off by a fish because I was being really, really stupid. <laughs> yeah. We predicted it. But anyway, he just caught this fish, and this fish wrapped around that rod, <laughs> and he actually pulled it up with that fish. I don't know, hung on something. Uh, it it's it's hung it. around the dock, I bet you. Yep. Yeah, we thought that that rod was a done for. Okay. That is too cool. You so retrieved the, your own rod. So I good job, that. good job. Go. <laughs> so, <laughs> saved by the black bullhead. You yep. need to kiss that one before you release it. Yep. Well, it's just after sunrise. Had a great night on the Chicky. Stars were gorgeous. We planned to get up early to photograph them uh, after the moon went down. And right as we were getting up, a cloud cover came in and killed it. So got a few shots last night, but we'll see how they turned out. Heading down here, we got 13 miles today. Most of it is with the current. So we're hoping that the wind doesn't come around and get in our face, but uh, incredibly gorgeous this morning. I mean, just unbelievably beautiful. Really looking forward to the paddle out, other than the, the distance. If I was in my normal fishing load, it'd, it'd be nothing. But uh, paddling with a couple extra hundred pounds of gear definitely puts the work into it. So. I mean, this is like heaven. Incredible. This turn off right here is how you get back to Stephen Foster. And oh, hold on, I got a fish. That's a good one. Come on, up in here. Oh, you have just missed all oh, that. Right. Come on, man. Oh, there you go. Good. Quick release. Anyway, that's a good bow fin. I don't want to fool with them anyway. Uh, that's the turn to get back to Stephen Foster. And uh, normally we'd be really looking forward to that, but we got two more miles to get to Mixon's. It's on the other side. So that's where we'll be camping tonight. So we'll be excited to see that tomorrow coming from the other way. This is the left hand turn that goes down through what's called the Narrows down to the Suwannee Seal. That's a beautiful paddle if you ever have a chance to go. It's a one-way trip for me. I am not paddling back up against that. So I always have a vehicle at the bottom of it. Um, this is Mixon's Hammock. This is the dock. The island is where we'll be camping tonight. So we are uh, made it here after a long day in the current and in the wind and are looking forward to a campfire, a cup of coffee. <laughs> but we're here. The, the actual campsite is over there, but it's in low ground and there's a pretty good chance of rain tonight. So we did not want to take the risk since we just had a pretty good experience with nearly drowning on a trip. So we've actually set up on top of the railroad and uh, we got everything set up watching a gorgeous sunset out that away. Got supper going on the Kelly kettle for me. Rob's heating it up. He's awesome. Camp chef, chef as is and we finna eat something up. And just for those of you to be aware on mixins in particular, there are bear warnings. We will be hanging our trash. Um, the cooler will go to the end down there. My cooler's actually grizzly proof, which means that a black bear ain't got a chance. But uh, uh, we'll be hanging our trash. All food stuff will be stored away from camp. And we're just trying to be a little on the safer side. Gonna be a long night because it's supposed to rain and then we know we're heading home tomorrow. <laughs> well, y'all, the gears put up and everything after the trip. It was a great trip. The last two videos uh, had water drops on the screen and I did not know it. So the closeout videos didn't turn out like I wanted to. 
and I kind of had a thought, you know, while I was out there, while I was out there, I got a bad call. Um, my oldest brother has been fighting a battle. Just found out about it a month or so ago, and unfortunately, it's turned even worse, and he's been given two weeks. So I'd like to, I'd like to dedicate this video to Chucky, my oldest brother. And when I was talking to him, he said something that meant something that I need to pass on to everybody. And he said, you know, he said, dying's easy. He said, you got the hard part. You got to live on without me. So he said, I want you to keep on living. You know, and I, and I offered to come home from the trip. And uh, he's like, no, man, you're going to need this. You're going to need these memories. And if you guys don't hear anything else, I hope that you pick up from my videos the importance of live now. We are not promised tomorrow. You know, take the trip. Hug your bride. Love your brothers. Love your friends. Do the adventure. Be better. Be bold. Uh, anything that you can do random acts of kindness because I promise you this is short and we're not going to be here for a long time so in dedication to Chucky I'm going to keep living and I'm going to live the adventure and I'll honor you that way